All right, in this video, we'll be looking at enzyme catalysis, um, just generally kind of how enzymes work and looking at several graphs that kind of demonstrate that work. And so again, just to review, enzymes are biological catalysts. They speed up biochemical reactions. Uh, enzymes are proteins also, and our most enzymes are proteins. Their structure is very specific to the substrate. It only facilitates one kind of reaction. We label those as synthesis or digestion reactions, or you could say anabolic for synthesis or uh, catabolic for digestion type reactions. And enzymes speed up reactions by lowering the activation energy of that reaction. The activation energy is the amount of energy necessary to begin a reaction. And enzymes lower that activation energy, thus speeding up that reaction. Here are a couple of reactions. Uh, this EA stands for the energy of activation or activation energy. And you can see here you have reactants on the left, products on the right. And you'll see this kind of graph quite often whereas from left to right on the x-axis represents the reaction process. Potential energy or the amount of energy available in the reaction is going to be here on the y-axis. And so in this particular reaction, notice you start with a quite a bit of energy in the reactants and not a whole lot of energy left at the end. And so you would say that energy is released in this particular reaction. But even in a reaction that energy is released in, it requires a small amount of activation energy. Here's an interesting um, reaction as well, whereas the activation energy is really high and there's not a lot of energy exchange. There's not a lot of energy that's been released in this sort of reaction. Um, there's either going to be a release of energy in a reaction or there's going to be an absorption of energy. So notice here we have the, ox the, um, the opposite thing happening. Sometimes you'll see reaction path. It's all kind of the same thing. Uh, this, anytime you see this sort of graph, it's telling you the same thing. This is a time, you know, from getting from reactants to products, and this is energy. But notice you have less energy at the beginning of the reaction than you do at the end. And so we would say that energy is being absorbed in this particular reaction. Here you have a very high energy of activation necessary to begin this reaction. A um, couple, couple other things here. Uh, notice that when you have the enzyme involved, this just says with a catalyst, but it could be anything. It could be an enzyme. The dotted line lowers that activation energy. And so how does that translate to speeding up the reaction? The way I think about it is if you were to stretch these two lines out, this purple line and this red line, the red line is going to be a lot shorter. And it's, it's, so this represents the path of the reaction or the progress of the reaction. And so that is going to be a lot shorter, thus slowing down that reaction. You see that on this graph too, where energy has been released, right? Because you start with more energy than you end with, but the reactivation or the reaction with an enzyme is a lot faster kind of reaction because it takes less time. Um, the way I like to think about this and there were the illustration I always use in my classroom is where if you were to send out 20 kids, say, onto a football field and you were to scatter them randomly throughout the football field and have them close their eyes and spin around with their hands out. And they can only stop spinning around with their hands out when they touch someone else's hand. This reaction is going to take quite a long time. If you were to then take two of those students and assign them as enzymes, and say their job is to go and find two other students and connect their hands together, this would slow down that process dramatically. It would take a lot less energy to do so. And so that's essentially what enzymes are doing. Um, obviously that is a, um, a caricature of the science there, but you get the idea. It is lowering the amount of energy involved. It is speeding up that reaction dramatically. And so um, the big takeaway here is that enzymes lower the activation energy requirement of enzymes or of reactions, and they, so they speed up those reactions. 